coming to you live from Southeast Imports in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You guys know I've been talking about I want to buy a beat over and over. And if you really look at this one, it has the Honda 660 rims on there. That's actually fire. Is this glass? Ooh, it has a glass top too. I like that. I like that. But yeah, as you guys know, I'm over here because I'm picking up some parts from Ron. I got the U-Haul right here. This spot is actually like 10 minutes away from Ron. So I was like, you know what? I got to stop here. They're about to close in 10 minutes. So this is going to be like a one take video. Next time I'm in Tennessee, I'll see if I can stop here for a lot longer. Go over some cars. Maybe they'll let me drive one of them. But while I'm here, not to take up too much of the time, let's walk around and check out what they got. They got some K-Trucks, some K-Vans, the ABC cars. Literally in order too, ABC. They got a Sentry, MR2, some Skyline, some bigger stuff. But let's walk around and see what they got. So I guess we can start with the ABC K cars. The way I found out about this place is if you guys follow Battles Digital, if you've seen him on Instagram, I'm sure you have, or TikTok, he gets millions of views. He's always promoting this place. And I was like, oh, I got to stop here when I'm in Chattanooga. I got to stop here when I'm in Chattanooga. But I realized that they close at 6 and I literally got here. It's 550 right now. So shout out to these guys for letting me record. But it's 550 right now and I was like, I got to stop here. I hope I'm not taking too much of their time. But we got to look at some of the cars. First and foremost, Cappuccino. You know, I've been saying I want to buy one over and over. This one is 21K, but it is very, very clean. This one is a beat that's 17K, but this one is the Z model. So it comes in this rare color and the faces are black. I like that little Ferrari wheel there too. This guy's nice. I'm telling you, I'm going to get a beat real soon. Like, I, I think I have my mind made up. I've been saying over and over I want to get a beat or a Cappuccino, but... I have so many parts for the beat at this point that I have to buy one. And over here is actually pretty mint. You guys know that most of the beats have so much crack in there. But then they got a Cara. This one says ask for the price. So I'm assuming if I had to guess, I'm going to say over 25 just for a couple reasons. One, it has the Mazda Speed kit. And from my understanding, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think they sold that for the Cara. I think the Caras don't come with this hood and they don't come with that wing. So I think somebody put that on there, which is super cool. Before this year ends, my goal is to get an AZ1. I'm still working on that project. Next to that, we got a Honda today. Fun little car. You guys know I love my life. This is basically just a two door shorter version. Super nice. We got an Aristo. Actually, somebody was asking me about this car if I knew anybody with an Aristo. So if you're watching this right now, this car is for you. 42,000 kilometers, 16,000 bucks. It's got the doilies on there. It's automatic. Next to that is a Renault. I've seen Benjamin's videos on this, but I don't really know much about it. It's probably just a quirky European car. Next to that, we got a Toyota Starlet. Okay, this one's manual, I like that. 8,900, that's not bad. I like this. I like the mirrors out of there. I like the color, all it needs is rims. Slamming a little bit, this is a nice $9,000 car. MR2, one of my favorite cars ever. T-tops, black. Can't tell if it's turbo. I feel like if it's turbo, this is lifted a little bit, so I'm gonna assume it's not, but don't hold me to it. This says $1,500, but I'm 99% sure that can't be right. If it is, <laughs> if it is, guess who's buying a K-Truck? There's no way it's $1,500. Uh, we'll find out before I end this video. I know there's a lot of stuff like that, but this can't be. No, there's no way it's $1,500. If someone's in Tennessee, though, and you want to buy this, like, there's some rust areas, but $1,500? If it has a motor, it's worth $1,500. The glass and everything's worth $1,500. We'll find out later today. Next to that, we have an S100. This one is $6,500. Pretty clean, five speed. I love the hay back there and the Japanese plate. Some nice touches. Then we got a Sandbar Classic van. These are always nice. I believe this one is automatic because I saw Ben's video. Yeah, it's CVT. Nice little aftermarket thing there. I know some people buy that. Then we got a Joy Pop for 8,000. This one is five speed. Has a split seat, which I like. Pretty blank canvas. It's a fishbowl, get some rims, tin it out. You guys saw the one I saw in the car meet in Queens. Basically the same van, just without rims and a roof rack. And then next to that, we have a sandbar van for 9,800. I was actually looking at this off camera. It has the roof. It isn't supercharged, sadly, but it is five speed with four wheel drive. So it's not CVT. Got the split seat, got the cup holders. In my opinion, nice little white color. Get some rims on here. And you got yourself a very nice K-Van. I can't wait to get back into another K-Van. And then next to that, we got a street. 
crowd favorite. This one has some very, very interesting seat covers. Look at that, and it has Honda embroidered on there. Not sure if you can see it. Let me whip up my phone so you can see. So I'm not sure if someone just took some seat covers and got Honda embroidered, because if someone bought seat covers and gave it to me, I could put Honda. You guys saw what I did to my Jimny. I could put my own logo, but I like the way that looks. I think with the silver and that like caramel color, it actually looks really nice together. Then we got a Bravo. All right, two automatic K vans. If anybody's looking for some automatic vans, that's probably the service center. So I'm not gonna walk over there. Over here, they got some more stuff they're working on. Shout out to that dude. Let's look at this van, actually. You don't see a lot of vans with this fitment. This might be a customer's car, I'm not sure, but it's full-time four-wheel drive, aftermarket wheel, five-speed. Got some parts back there. Does it have plates? It doesn't. Mm, maybe they're just rocking this around the shop. But look at this fitment. I'm liking this. I usually don't really care too much about the streets, but... This one is nice. Then we got a daddy wagon. This guy is a VR4 Mitsubishi, shot to DSM. Then we got a Datsun, RX-7 over here. One of my dream cars. When I graduate past the K level, this is up there on my list. Same with like an Evo 4 or 5. And then we'll walk over that middle row with the fire trucks. But before we get there, let's look at this AZ1 again. I need to find one. There was one on um, Cars and Bids that sold for $14,000. And I swear to God, guys, I'm not just saying this. I swear to God, I was going to bid on it. The only reason I didn't is because, one, I don't have $14,000. But I would have sold my Moto Combo. I would have sold the Life. I would have sold any crypto, any any belongings I had to get it for $14,000. But I saw some pictures and it wasn't as nice as I thought. But it was blue. And you could see that like most of the AZ ones are either red. I don't even really see them in like this. I wouldn't even call this silver. It's more like a beige. I don't see them in this color either, but these things are so nice, man. I feel like if I'm going to be the K guy, I've been saying it over and over. I got to get an AZ1. I got to get the ultimate K. When I was in Austin, Texas, Texas JDM told me a funny quote that I still think about to this day. He said he's one of the biggest importers in America. You guys saw his lot. He has like 700 plus cars and his movement is crazy. Like the volume that he imports and sells cars is crazy. Duncan gets a lot of cars, but they don't really move anything. Texas JDM, they move things. Austin JDM, they move product and that's very impressive. But what he told me was... I kept importing cars, I kept importing cars, but all my friends made fun of me because I didn't have a Skyline. So he bought an R33 GTR, it's an Austin JDM's website, I think it's like $9,000. It is mint. And he bought it just to tell people like, yeah, now what, I got a Skyline. And that's kind of feel about this. Not that I'm doing it for other people, but it's like, yeah. Like if I'm gonna call myself the K guy, what do you guys know? I have an AZ1. Am I gonna keep it forever? No, because there's no way I can afford a $20,000 K car. That is ridiculous. But in the meantime, for content purposes, I will be getting one of these before the year's over. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I got five more months. It's currently like June 8th right now. I got five more months to make it happen. It's gonna happen. But let me show you guys this last row of cards before I get out of here. So first we got this old shaggy highest. This looks like something in the late 80s. The interior and everything looks like, I don't even know what, but this would be a cool camper build. Then we got the Sentry here. This one is only $13,000, which I feel like is a bargain for such an equipped car. Paint isn't the best, but if you wrap this or, you know, just get the clear coat fix, you're getting a, a Maybach basically for 13 Gs, a V12 at that. So this is real nice. Then we got another MR2. Looks like they might be a fan of it. This one's a slick top. We got a four door skyline with one of the best fitments I've seen in a while. And on BBS is at that, look at this. Sexy. Then we got a Mazda Bongo. This is a cool camper for like 13,000. This goes up electronically, which is cool. So you don't have to continue to pop it up. And then we got a high ace fire truck. You don't really see this all the time. And whenever it's a fire truck, it has little to no kilometers. And I was looking at this and it looks like it says it has 1700, which is just, I don't even know what that is. That has to be 17,000. Yeah, I'm looking at it wrong, 17,000. I was about to say, but even then, that's only like less than 10,000 miles, which is insane on such an old vehicle. But as you guys can see, it's super clean. It's also like a low key seven seater. You can fit two people back there. 
three people back here and then two people up there. So I'm in this video here. Shout out to homies at Southeast Imports. It's probably not the last time you're gonna see me over here. If I'm going on another like crazy K adventure and I'm driving through Chattanooga, I definitely wanna stop by, maybe like I said, drive some of the cars, learn some more about them, how they got started and all that good old jazz. But let me get back into my U-Haul and let's do this 14 hour drive. Remember the name, this is way before the fame. 